Oh, do I have to put this in streamer mode? Yeah, I think I do. Bummer. Well, just gonna boop. I trust nothing. Gaming is an autosave feature. Please do not turn off the game while the symbol. All right. Game features, accessibility options. Uh, op open. Okay, font style. Longer choice timer, skip gameplay prompt. Choose between holding or tapping a button in order to activate jogging. I'll just tap, I'll change. Um, I'll do hold for power controls. Why? That's great. I want to. There's a couple of scenes that depend on licensed music that get silently awkward, but it's fine. Link your Square Enix met. I don't have that. Okay. That in. It's not in audio. They'll probably turn this down a little bit. Gameplay? Live stream. <laughs> Live stream staring me in the face. Mute license music on. Crowd choice. That's interesting. Okay, apply. Make sure subtitles are on. Speaker name's on, default. This is, yeah, that, that works. Okay. So I think we're good then. People jamming to literally nothing is my favorite part of the game. Story-based game that features player choice. Your actions and decisions will have consequences for Alex. And other people, I guess. Choose wisely, all right. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother, Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Yeah, that's what maybe the service industry does. Does your brother know about your issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex. You know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Well, we got this far when <laughs> we played on PC, and then the screen ripped in half. So, all right, I'm gonna change the game. Info strange, there we go. Updated. Hey, Joker. Side A. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't okay. wait to see him. No screen tearing so far. 
have to be a little careful of moving the camera because it's a little... How do I run? I guess I can't. Yeah, the camera's movements are still a little, a little iffy, but the screen tearing isn't happening, and that was the biggest problem, so... Hopefully... We're good. Just... Hello? They're chillin'. Alex! Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> the controller vibrated oh. when he hugged me. <laughs> it's a protocol for reuniting with your long-lost sister after eight years. Cool with the hug if you are. This action will have consequences. Oh, Why is it vibrating? My rib's still part of the protocol. I don't, I don't want the controller to vibrate when I hug people. It's just so good to see you again. I can't believe Do you're you here. Do you guys vibrate when you hug people? Believe it. <sighs> Hugs should not vibrate. He's blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -dee. She's all grown up. Oh, is he sad? Is that I what that means? It. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time will do that to you. expression of... Are you ready to see the town? Yeah. Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. I don't know why I said that. Me neither. Because I'm controlling you now. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned My I live will above is the bar, yours. Right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. <laughs> Every hug. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. She seems nice. I am assuming direct control, yeah, just straight. like a reaper. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. <laughs> yeah, assuming no control. Welcome to Haven. Mm, what's the silver dragon? That sounds interesting. Insert some soulful indie music. It's nice. Come on. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, they just you'll really find want. Prize exhibit. They really make you want to feel Gabe that Chen hug. Buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I oh, can't God. wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> Don't do that. Hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, That's weird. What? Don't ask people that. It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that so I weird. give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard, or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh, yeah? What would you do? 
I don't know, honest, I guess. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it. I missed the wow. question. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. I stab people who ask too many questions. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. How about you just say you're you sorry? Think? How about you communicate with your girlfriend instead of buying a gift to try to make it okay? Because that's going to set a really bad precedent for your entire relationship, okay? D don't do this. If you fucked up, don't then be like, here's a present to make everything better. Just talk to them, okay? Just talk to them. Work through it. Figure it out. You know, here's a plant. You forgive me now. Also, I hate flowers, so this would n really make me not forgive you. Lily of the Valley is great for poisoning people. <laughs> What'd you do? What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around, maybe the toilet seat. <laughs> How cliche of a human are you, sir? I, is there no other option? Fine, get her sunflowers. If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You I know, still think if you can Mac just communicate. Flowers half as often, but well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab. Yeah. You have a tab at the flower you shop? Sure How many times have you Mac fucked up? Interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Who has okay, a tab at a flower shop? We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have can a I have a new big brother that's not this man? I just, I have questions. <sighs> Kita already dislikes hogs. This is going to make it worse. There might be an option for performance mode on PS5 that can help fix stutters and tearing. An option? Uh, I didn't see one. Video? High resolution mode, high frame rate mode. Um, we could try high frame rate mode. See, if, see how that goes. Anyway. All right, let's 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 check out what's going on over here. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. See, I understand that. I always killed flowers when they were gifted to me. And I hate them because I'm allergic to them. The Perfect Flower Bed. That woman looks like she has a black eye. Is she okay? Making the Magic Garden Real. That... All right. Oh, I thought it was going to actually have me, like, read the... The book. But I guess not. Statuette. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Yeah, just like people. Shove a bouquet in there. Makes them real pretty. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. That's quite a bit of exposition. Considering we were just looking at greeting cards. Sunglasses. This gnome has been places. Putting the sunglasses on him. Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Gnome Bell Peace Prize. Oh, God, please stop. No problem. <laughs> gnome will remember that? Good, I hope he does. The tiny house movement is really taking off. Hat. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. 
I hope that your brother stops <laughs> using gifts as a way to fix his relationship problems. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? I'd be afraid it would break, honestly. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Hold L2 to see emotions attached to the character. Oh. It's vibrating. I don't know what purple means. Purple mean. Oh, I gotta hold X. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If yes. Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. I don't get in. Okay, so it's the same Shit. thing. What if I do get in? These powers aren't really just the powers of an empath. These are these are mind reading powers. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Hmm. Butterfly effect. You probably fucked everything up already. Employees only. Well. Well, fine. I can't just talk to you. Once I'm done looking around, we can head out. I'm, d I'm done. I looked at stuff. Can I just leave? Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. Yes, because you told her to be honest. She told the college interviewer about that one time she killed a man. <laughs> well, I think they should know that before they admit her, to be fair. I stand by that decision. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. Chatty guy. I just don't want you to fall. You need stable feet with ladder work. Enough with the feet. Bald guy and chatty don't guy. Get snippy with Can I me, talk pal? to you? I'm just saying Can I feel your emotions? Fell off a ladder once when he was repainting his roof. All right. Thank you for waiting for me. Well, here we are. Warning. Wow, good to know. Automated blasting to take place. Warning sirens will sound prior to detonation in areas within blast radius. Do not enter blast area. Hmm. Emotions. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Sure sounds like it. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. <sighs> She's got to be expecting these flowers, right? It's going to be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? Did you just spoil it? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I prefer the Fire Ring. I'd rather shoot fire from my hand, burn all my enemies to a crisp. What if you're high-fiving a friend and the fire ring goes off? Risky. <laughs> Use the other hand. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it.
This child is far less annoying than her brother. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. And probably more this mature. Is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. What if the other hand casts Are ice? Are you mm, going mm, camping? Good point. You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines. You better be but careful, kid. That would scare the crap out of me. I just like to this explore is a death sometimes. flag. It's no big deal. Oh, this man. is going to be a problem later, isn't it? I shouldn't it? have told you that. Promise you'll be careful. I know we just met, but... That's how you find a Wendigo. There, okay. <laughs> He's a Wendigo, isn't he? You don't need to worry. Really. Are you becoming a Wendigo? I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. May have committed some light cannibalism. What's light cannibalism? Just eating a finger? Oh, wow. Is it weird this that I can picture how this place the smells? Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Hello? Oh, you're DLC. Hi, DLC. So, what are you listening to, DLC? Oh, uh. Hmm. Unicorn sandwich. What about now? It's time to rock or with zombie the parade. I think we know. It's Buck Bumble. Listen, in my head, every time there's silence, it's just Buck Bumble playing, you know? Zombie parade. Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Oh, come Next, on. A very when is this bomb going off? From Shit's gonna happen. Some chick. You kidding me? Someone's gonna get blown to pieces. Oh. Oh. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing. Hello, because potential love interest. Obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Is wow. he the love interest? I don't know. Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? Cool. I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. DLC girl and him are like the love here. interest, yes. Well, I already don't yep. like him, so. It's a cultural Probably gonna go for, for sure. DLC girl. So, the store He just is looks closed, like a dad. They opened it just for you? Like a dad who is a lumberjack, I don't know. Something pretty important. Yeah. Well, you could say that. 
an outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... <laughs> different. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. LARPing! There's a the sign National on the wall for LARPing. Gave it five stars. Can we LARP? I hope so. <laughs> so, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming Why is his voice us. familiar? Who voices him? Well, Palmer, the store I know closed. your voice, Lumberjack. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. Well, you didn't do anything to ruin your relationship. I don't you don't need to get a gift. I don't know if he still listens to records. <laughs> He does. Damn. He does well. Never does like a dad. <laughs> How dare you bring Seth into this? I'm pretty sure. Seth is a daddy, hold. though. This guy's not a daddy. Sorry, he's just not my type. If he's so your you type, that's don't great. work here. It's Step not mine. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. It's the addition of lumberjack that turns. If I could just find. No, he wouldn't do it for me even without that. <sighs> Damn. There is a difference between a dad and a daddy. Yeah, I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? <laughs> he looks like Obi-Wan. No idea. Steph leaves stuff all <laughs> over the place. Ninth Warden. Oh, R2 hero is how ironic. Hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars and friend to lonely children everywhere. It's his first major role. His voice sounds really familiar, though. Hmm. Well, good job. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. <laughs> oh, shit, he does look like Obi-Wan. Oh, God. Now I'm really not attracted to I'm detecting an indie pattern. But then, delightful. Okay. Uh, Forbidden Songs, Adam and pattern. Steve. A51. Color me impressed. Well, this one's my favorite. That sums up my just feelings on a daily basis. I, well. Yeah. Love that. Staff picks. <laughs> kitty! Can I pet the kitty? Wait. Is that the cat list? hates everyone. Oh, I'm not going to scare the cat. Don't freak out. I'm just going to... That cat's going to attack me. Okay, just kidding. I can't even pet the cat. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. Cat bowl. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. That is a badass name. I love it. Okay, we gotta find a toy. I don't wanna scare the cat. Or calendar. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> oh, someone said that to you, I guess. Pull a sweet prank on Diane. Mop, mop. Mop. Radio booth, locals. Okay. I love that this the town kitty. has their own radio station. She's just living her best life. Huh. I love that for her. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Action figures, ooh. No, get out of the way, Ryan. Get out of the way! Go cut down a tree! I want to look at these action figures. Now there's a radio contest I might actually be able to win. Play name, play name the tune of 10 oldies to win a flat screen TV. Apparently plants can feel pain. But can they cry sing all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. You're not the boss of me, poster. Call your councilman. Tell them to vote no on local ballot measure 39. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. Keep our mountains standing tall. Proposed future mining sites. Current mining site. Oh, well. 
Is this foreshadowing a decision that I must make? Standing Probably. on stage in front of a crowd of strangers? Fuck, creepy crawlies. That's the stuff of nightmares. I agree. Karaoke sounds like a nightmare. Look, I could spend hours sitting here. Maybe I will. Maybe <laughs> learned of Kita's unyielding hatred of lumberjacks. I just am not attracted to the look. This is just a personal preference. vibe I guess so this is Haven Springs well maybe she just put put them on to cancel the noise they're just noise canceling headphones but she's not playing any music I do that sometimes on radio station record store and dispensary it still doesn't feel real like I could wake up back in that group home any moment. <laughs> so she doesn't have to listen to Ryan's lumberjack story. This you wait, later on this game, now. he's going to be cut down a tree. Who's that? Outside. Very board. small town. Family portraits, another commissioned art. Char okay, so I guess that's uh, our brother's girlfriend. She's a photographer then. Gunther's gutter gutters. GG, Gunther. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Yeah, take them all. This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. Looks like Ryan might need some help finding that toy. Eh, not my problem. What's back here? Drinking bird. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Agreed. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. Well, maybe we will in this game. It's been so long since I've played. <laughs> right to Squidward. <laughs> That's the rich clarinetist you want to date, Squidward. <laughs> Deaths touch and die. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? I'm going to touch it. I'm going to touch it. Are you trying to die? Yes. I wanted to see what would happen. You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. Foreshadowing. Dude, if we gotta sacrifice the town again, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. I stand by that decision and I'll do it again. <laughs> LARPing, fake weapons, real fun, mountain song. Guitar. Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. We should break the glass. 
That town sucked anyway. <laughs> he has to make money somehow. No way he's making enough of the Krusty Krab to pay off his mortgage, must, much less his hobbies. True. Oh, you got him, Lacious. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll help you now. It's How taking you, you a really long time. Toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? Banjo, dubstep, or acapella screamo? Screamo, definitely. I think Gabe's gotten so That's emo. That's why he that has to keep buying his girlfriend flowers. He doesn't flowers. like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Please have the toy. The suspense is killing me. Maybe that drawer? What has he been doing this whole time? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. We can't imagine it's in the metal box, but... Surprisingly not covered in stickers. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait I for it. I hope so. I hope... Cover bands. I hope that for him. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Typically, a missing cat toy is under something. Yeah. Shelves are meant for holding things, right? Oh, I can ask about that. What about I the top shelf? The cursor. What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? Better than the movie. <laughs> At least that'd be ironic. No toy to be seen. What about the junk box? Prime cat toy real estate. I could see being in there. Maybe in the Not junk the cash box. register. That, I oh. thought that was, it does look and like Deadpool, doesn't it? He's winner. even like putting his hand at his crotch. <laughs> Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Hey, kitty. <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? <coughs> All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. It's not quite him, but definitely off-brand Deadpool. Oh, yeah, definitely. She didn't even throw it. She didn't. Can I put the kitty now? No. Really not feeling this guy. They have as much chemistry as water and oil. He's just got dad energy. Like, really boring, tired dad energy. <laughs> Kings of Leon. I'm surprised that they, they've been using, like, real musicians. Like, real bands. Tiny blue bot. Should have known. Phone. Oh, did someone text me? He has the writers you insist you like him energy. Wait. I would agree with that, Pants. Seriously? Like, uh, look, this Gabe guy's and I nice. We used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock Probably out for using hours. their music. They might you be. You gotta yeah. tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? Actually, he was a pretty badass older brother. He oh, I didn't think it was gonna take this turn. I was just trying I to talk him up. Awesome. And he somehow managed to get his first tattoo when he was twelve. Damn. The legend only grows. All right, you're looking at 20 even. Hmm. 
No. He will like him no less way. for that. Oh, she angry. I can't angry. believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. The angry. Do you have any idea how much time I put into this? You just the vibrations. No, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. Oh no, we're channeling her anger. It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had. I can watch the booth if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there. One sec. It's all right. Crisis averted, maybe. I don't know. Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Are you okay? Obi-Wan read the force. You can feel it. Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. How old are we supposed to be? This guy also Somehow seems like I way older than us. Here. Things went well for with some Charlotte? reason. Thanks to your help, I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'll be great friends. Speaking of my two favorite people in my favorite place, what you're have you guys 21. Been up to? Okay. She she reads younger though. Like she reads more like 18 to me. But this dude looks like I don't know. Like he's 30. I don't know. <laughs> he just seems older. Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's Don't the best guy to age, Haven okay. you could ever find. I'm just kind of curious. And this dude hands me the best beers? Wow. <laughs> cool. By the way. I think he's supposed to be Matt 24. He does not read 24. And, uh, I'm telling you, it's the dad really energy. He really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Yeah, not interested. Love the emotional intelligence there, but I love more that Steph got so angry because of a LARP. <laughs> Giving off dad energy at 24 is probably in. bad. I don't know. There's Do a bunch mind? of dads who are that young. Oh, no, yeah. But of course. It's more of like the look or the vibe, and not the age. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP. He's your you type, Umbreon's? Hell yeah. Well, you know, you can have him. No, we got to talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we I'm sure he's Steph? nice. We'll see. She's a GM, so she's got to be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Am Do I going to babysit this <laughs> child? But I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. Honestly, See I'd rather around. hang out with him than my brother <laughs> or so Ryan. Weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> yeah, you're already <laughs> failing if you're calling yourself dad plus. We trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Shar. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? Will this result in the death of this child? Hmm. Well. Bring up a kid wants to explore a fucking mine. But I want to be his friend. But he might die if I don't tell Gabe. Who calls themselves Dad Plus? Ew. 
despite being desperate, I'm also very picky, so I'll probably stop liking him in a half hour. <laughs> Oh, man. It'll be like, oh, she loves being around him because of his calm aura. Ryan's emotions weren't loud and abrasive like the others. The feeling of a quiet forest went wherever he walked. He was my happy place. Oh, my God, Eco, Why is that so fucking accurate? I'm okay with free range kids. Free range kids. But exploring old mine is a bit too free range for me. All right. He's going to be upset with us. But, you know, I suppose we should try to keep him from being, you know, dying. Uh, I should probably tell you something. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> I'm a narc. This fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Okay, Dad Plus. Ooh, Dad Plus should really? not be we'll being see. like this fucking kid. He's just, like, bragging about how good of a daddy me. is, and now this. You, you did the right thing. What do you say we get you settled in? Also, you don't need to, like, freak out on him. He's a kid. He wants to explore. All kids like to explore. Just talk to him about how dangerous it is. You know, you don't have to freak out on him. Death is an important life lesson. So, this is what a mining town looks like. I thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. I'm sure he won't die, but just be lightly maimed. Exactly. Just a little maiming. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. I would not like that. That would really Sounds stress like me it. out, living in this town. Look who it is. Jed, hey, got someone I want you to meet. Another lumberjack. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. <laughs> buddy, hell, will you listen to this horse shit? Look, that's this Ryan in like ten years. You own the Black Lantern. For the last twelve years or so. He's got like. It's good to meet you, Alex. <laughs> Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh, that beard Only though. He looks Mostly like lies. an I don't know, like those Your pictures you see of, of like shit. old press. You know that? <laughs> He just about wet himself, <laughs> waiting for you to get here. <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know what you just said to me. I was too busy laughing. Same. I was excited to see him, too. Guess we're an almost wet yourself kind of family. Don't put it like that. That's weird. Uh, I like her. Yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in no. detail. I'll fill you in later. Like you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. He looks like Max Com got stuff. that old bug up his ass again. <laughs> That's so what he's reminding now. me of. So, just you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. I get uh, JJJ so, vibes. Oh my god, Jameson. Spring festival equals mountain prom. He's way nicer than that, though. Than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man. Oh god, can't unsee. Oh, you <laughs> You're welcome, Tim. The Black Lantern is a cool name for a bar. This town has some some cool shop names. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the two of us. Well, I guess we're in here now. Shit, man. The bed is in the same room as yours? the kitchen and living Don't room. Don't so surprised. I would not like that. <laughs> wow. Best you could do. It's really nice. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then. Welcome to my crib. 
I think it's like a run, one room place. I thought there were stairs. This is great. There's stairs. And the best part is, it's actually yours. So better than Jonker. I'm mostly <laughs> staying at Charlotte's now. Until she throws me out. That's really sick, though. We get our own place with a foosball Gabe, table. I love it. Good. I mean it. I don't know what to say. And an arcade say machine. You. Or maybe you're the best. Or I'm definitely naming my first and third born children Gabriel or Gabriela. <laughs> sure thing. Free house would be awesome. Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just, you look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? Mm, I mean, I didn't expect the beard. You haven't really changed. Really? You still look 15. Like, shut up. I he mean, obviously not. you're like a man, dude, but you still have the same facial expressions and stuff. You're still you. Thanks. Which is good, because if you weren't still you, I'd have to give your gift to someone else. Wait, what? I got you flowers. Surprise. Wait, is this? This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Ah, uh, yes. The lovely sounds of Kings of Leon. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger the buck. Bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger the buck. Bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Bump to the bump to the bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Bump to the bump to the bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Bump to the bump to the bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the base. Bump to the bump to the bumble. I can't get over this. Bump to the boot. Feels just like old times. Oh no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> what are you doing? What even is that? Go get him. <laughs> oh yeah, go get him, bro. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I believe that's air drums. Is, is that what that's supposed to be? Maybe if the music was on, I, I could understand, but uh, I, I don't. Your turn. Fine. This is so awkward without music. <laughs> <laughs> wow why couldn't they have just they could have licensed something <laughs> you haven't lost a beat <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> seeing this in real life there's no music oh uh... This is creepy without music, like they're possessed. Give me a sec. Yeah. Who is this? Hey, Mac. He looks scary. What are you about to do? Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, shit. Good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Well, that's not Tell good. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass right <gasps> now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. 
I'm talking to you. Is he gonna stab him or something? Like something's gonna happen. Oh shit. No! Stay. Stay. The fuck. The fuck. Away from her. Away from him. Tackle him. Yes, yeah, son of a bitch. Get him. I mean, I think he gets the picture. Oh, okay. Jeez. Alex, stop! Stop! Ah! Oh. Gabe, I didn't. It's okay. Ah! Holy crap! Her hands. This is just fucking psycho. You came here first and you started attack. Fuck yourselves. Excuse you. You're the one who came here and started so beating the crap out of him. Oh, okay. So you're not gonna see if she's okay. You're just gonna disappear. I don't know. I feel like this. You should probably. Fuck have a conversation about what just happened. Wait, Gabe. Alex. That's fine. Or we're just going to pretend that this didn't happen. I got to go stop my shift. Um, yeah, no. And you call yourself dad plus? Great. You're dad minus. She beat a man till she split her knuckles, but yeah, you clean up. Yeah, like what? I'm just saying, if my sister got that ups that upset and started beating the crap out of somebody, I that would be a conversation that we would need to have afterwards, and obviously checking to see if she was okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. When did you get my number? Hey, Alex, this is Ryan. It was really nice meeting you at the record store. Looking forward to talking more later. Nice meeting you, too. Sounds good. Notes to self. Nothing. We have to unpack. Uh, is that the only... Oh, no. We have more text. Hey, Alex, it's Steph. Sorry I had to run out like crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the Lantern tonight. Should we be going to the Lantern? Who is Chelsea? She has no photo. It's Chelsea. Thank you so much for help with Harley last night. My jaw's still sore, but it could have been way worse if you didn't step in. This is from two years ago, it looks like. 2017. Glad you're okay. Harley's awful. Don't worry. Not every girl is that bad in foster care. Text me if you need me, okay? Oh my god, thank you. Didn't think I was going to get any birthday gifts. Necklace is beautiful. Bought at a pawn shop. Orphans can't be picky, right? Got any spare pads? Check the drawer. You're my hero. Have something important to tell you and didn't want to wait. At the end of the month, I'm going to move to Colorado, live with my brother. Leaving you was the literal only downside to this plan. Really sorry. Just know I'm always phone call or text away. Congrats. Don't be sorry. I'm so happy for you. Can we talk more this weekend? Sounds good. Miss you. Don't let anybody push you around. So I guess we're still friends with this person because we're still texting them. 
Although that is quite a gap of time between texts. Dr. Lynn, I beat the shit out of a grown man. <laughs> Thought you should know. Alex, do you have a session scheduled? Oh, that was last year. You gonna make it punctual attendance of scheduled sessions with your assigned counselor, a precondition of your residence at helping hands. Let's call this strike one. Sorry, I lost track of time per our set per our session yesterday. To pilot the self by Dr. Levi Hauptner. Right, thanks. Hope you find it helpful. Just checking in. How are you feeling after everything? Well, at least they're getting more like personal and not being so stuffy. Is Heather okay? She's upset, which I think you'll agree is understandable, but she's not her. I'm so sorry. So something must have happened then. Where are you? Your things are gone. Who are you with? Please get in touch with me. No one knows where you are. I realize you're in, in an emotionally vulnerable position right now. I'd like to speak with to you before I leave for the night. Are you settled in? Yes. May I stop by your room briefly? Yes. Good luck in this new chapter of your life. Please know that I'm here for you if you need me. This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive messages from their number. So, I guess we blocked our therapist after we moved here, which is interesting. All right, what's Gabe want? The long one. Alex, who's this? Holy shit, Alex Chen. Sorry, who is this? It's Gabe. Is this some kind of joke? No, you dork. Call me right now. It was so rad catching up yesterday. So this was last... No, this was earlier this year. Uh, how was your weekend? Pretty good. Charlotte and I took Ethan hiking. Tons of fun. Listening to music. Things are busy. Dealing with shit. I'm fine. Alien, would you ever want to live in Haven? Duck, duck. Not alien. You're not an alien. You're... Ali, autocorrect, lol, this phone is idiot. Ali, you... Oh, he's saying Ali. Because, like, Alex. Okay. Have you been drinking? Yeah, definitely he's been drinking. He drunk texted her all of that. Well, that's a thing. Been shitty here. Been through worse. Thanks for sending the ticket. About an hour away. Bus pulled in. That's a gif. World's okayest boyfriend. Well, I don't even know if I call you that, bro. You were right with for RE Sunflowers. Feel like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invited you to our neighborhood on my block. Check it out when you have a sec. No, I will not. I guess I will. Calling volunteers to help with this year's spring festival. Enough I'm with all the transplants moving this here. Isn't about me. I don't care if it's good for the economy. I miss Haven the way it used to be. Oh, just people bitching. Look at that. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. Free drinks tonight at the Black Lantern to celebrate my sister's arrival. What the hell is wrong with you? There most certainly are not. <laughs> Jed's not having it. Can't confirm how she turned out so well and you turned out so you. <laughs> ha. Wait, what's Steph say? Oh. Typhon Mining. Okay, let's let's see this foreshadowing. A reminder to all Haven residents that Typhon Mining will be setting off charges tonight at 9 p.m. Please ensure designated danger zones are clear. Call our 24 hour safety line with any questions of concerns. Or concerns? Typo. Typhon cares. Call us anytime. Guys, call that number. The poster has disabled replies. Sister Alex is finally getting into town tomorrow, so expect everyone to be on their least worst behavior. Be adding her to my block as soon as she gets in. I don't even, like, does anybody have anything like my block in their neighborhood? Reminder, Town Hall will be fielding any questions you may have regarding Typhon Mining opening a second open pit mine. If there's anything you want to know, leave a comment. What kind of impact would a second mine have on the environment? Thanks for the question. We'll be sure to address that. Uh, I'll be happy to address that as well, but I doubt Typhon would like my answer. Oh, Ryan being spicy. Ooh. 
Will this lead to more traffic through town? Kids walk home from school. Those tall trucks make me nervous. Suck at that. Thanks for voicing this concern. I'll make sure we talk about that. Yeah, I bet. They're creating a bunch of new jobs, right? Do they know how many yet? I will find out. <laughs> oh, man. We do. My parents use it. Really, Umbreon's? I've never... I And I, like, grew up in a small town, so... I didn't know this was really a thing. This is spot on for the corporate PR. Yes, it is. It's too real. We get it. The mining company is bad. Someone's going to explode. Maybe it'll be our brother. Probably. The neighborhood app? I have not heard of that. Ethan Lambert. The latest issue of Legendary Monster Hunter Thanor is finished. He's, he's so pure. He just loves his comics. This weekend is your last chance to sign up for Mountain Song, a live action role playing event in Denver. Ethan and I are going, so you should too. Oh, that was the, at first I thought that was the mining company responding, but it wasn't. Okay, so this must be his girlfriend, Charlotte. Family portraits are open for commissions. I can work off a photograph or a live pose, pet port pet portraits, and other art are open as well. How about one of your lovely sculptures? This is from Ducky. Perhaps a squirrel or a whatever that is. A what now? It's a kind of rodent commonly called a mountain beaver, which is really a misnomer as they don't build dams. Thanks, Ryan, for that. If anyone needs computer help, hit me up. Can you teach my mom how to use her email? No. No, she can't. She can't work miracles. Come on now. Gabe did call him a nerd. I'm shocked that didn't turn into a do you work for exposure joke. Huge thank you to Typhon Mining for donating two brand new Road King law enforcement motorcycles to the force. We'll be able to patrol the roads faster, more safely now. The police are corrupt. Jason Pike. We haven't met him yet. Your community is our community. Let's keep it safe. And the cops are baddies, too. Got it, game. Oh, the mayor? Oh, maybe, yeah. Flowers celebrating 30th anniversary. Aw. Cute. Parkour lessons? Does anyone know where I could take Ethan for parkour lessons? He picked it up from his dad in Arizona, and ever since he's been jumping off walls. Literally. Here's the address for the hospital? Jeez, Jed. I want to wish a happy birthday to Ryan. The world became a better place when he was born 47 years ago. Happy be to... Oh, it does tell us the age. Well, okay. He says... I did not know that they... Oh, okay. I misread that. Um, he says he's 24. Do we believe this? Hmm? Do we believe this? No. I mean, I mean, Gabe is saying 47, and I, I think Gabe might be right. Is that in dog years, or? <laughs> you guys do this a bit every year. Does it ever get old? Not as old as you. Dad. Jed is his dad? <laughs> Even better. So he really is going to turn into... <laughs> <laughs> okay, was I wrong? Hmm. No, I wasn't. Haven Springs Birding Society. There's a birding competition. Uh, Ryan and Ashley are apparently in competition with each other, and Hazel's just just happy to be here. Uh, Ducky says, hand super glued to taxidermy animal. Help. That's, I have a lot of thoughts about that. Ducky, did you maybe mean to type this into Google? What? Well. 
And then Charlotte says, huge thanks to everyone who helped out with Doc Day. All our kiddos will be safe from splinters another year. So this is our journal. Interesting. <laughs> See the best bird to win. The birding competition. Keto was right. Why do you dress like your dad, dude? It's probably hand me down. It's like, Dad, I love your style. So can I just have all your old clothes? How would one compare the birds, though? If rarity isn't the factor, would it be feather sheen? We'd have to ask Red how to rate birds. Yeah, I'm not sure how that kind of competition would work. All right, so let's see what we got in our journal. Tessa anger, bitter and jealous and a little queasy. That's what the anger tasted like. Tasted like. Didn't even have time to step back. Seconds later, I was rushing across the room. What a mess. Split her lips open, poor thing. I wonder how long it'll take to heal. It's hard to clean blood off your clothes. Makes you feel wrong. I don't really blame her for being upset. She thinks I get special treatment at the home, but I don't. Doesn't matter now. She keeps to herself. Most of the other kids do, actually. So that'll be business as usual until a new group comes in. And this all this starts all over again. The worst part, they confiscated my fucking guitar. Two-week ban. At least I get it back. She wrote a song. I can't really read music, so I can't sing it for you. But she wrote a song. Pretty cool. I like seeing uh, other people's notebooks and handwriting. Isabel Anguish. I tried to write this so many times, and they all ended up in the trash. Let's see how far I can get. I really liked Isabel. She's very sweet, loved to paint, smuggled in a few beers for us on the weekends, but her depression was brutal. It crept under my fingernails and made my eyelids feel like stone, and I had to focus just to keep breathing, like dipping your rib cage in lead. It was always hard to get away from. Eventually got too much. Two bottles of sedatives lying in vomit, her eyes open and glassy and afraid. I'm sorry, Isabel. I thought we could have stayed friends when we finally got out of this vanilla-flavored holding pen. I wish you could have stuck around for a little longer. Well, that's sad. Kita, I like reading other people's journals. Okay, I meant people who post pages of them online and are comfortable. I don't just go around stealing people's journals to look through them. Except yours. Okay, so I need to unpack my bag a sword is that a sword we didn't even get to finish the song video game must be Ethan's wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play Dino Racer 2 <laughs> huh I've really changed Son the of style lead. since I read these. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. The spacious embrace. Responsibly parenting your independent child. Well, I don't think it's sinking in. Chapter 4 is the most important. Well, see, she gave it to him. We don't know that he's really reading this. Gabe brushing up on comics and art. Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Photo. Photo. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. I mean... Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? Kita sneaks into chat's room to read their journals. Yeah, I do. I know all your secrets. Thought you could hide them from me. There's a file on me. Alex. Yes, I want to know. Do I want to know? I want to know. Read it. Why would you leave that here, though? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Oregon Department of Human Services Child Welfare Offices. 
Alex placed at group home in Portland area. I guess moved from two of them. Anita <clears throat> and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Hello, Gabe. Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We are glad to see you are doing so well after all these years. Colorado is so very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system, and we don't know where she lives now. Here is the phone number for the agency. Maybe they can help. Oregon Child Protective Services. Line only available third Wednesday of month. Try Human Services Child Welfare. Wish you luck in finding her. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Well, we paid him back. We just saved his life. Did we go overboard? Yes, but we saved his life. Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Yeah, didn't you know that people can just be friends? So Mac was reading Riley's text. Boyfriend of the year. Well, she needs to dump him. Yes, she does. Your application for CIT's 2019 summer programming launch pad has been reviewed. We are pleased to inform you that you've been selected to move forward to the interview stage. Someone from admissions will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck, Gabe. Ah, it's happening. Please, please, please help me prep. It's funny because some people don't get that. Some people don't. Also... I have a feeling if he is that volatile, she probably uh, was also like going to somebody else who actually cared about her going to school. I mean, maybe I'm reading into that too much, but I could see her being like really excited about it and him being like, eh, it's, you know, not so much. So then she goes to her friends for support, you know, Charlotte made this. That's kind of cool. He mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant... You should put like, flowers in. <laughs> that makes everything look beautiful. I, I think that's a proper read. So like, I know we don't have a lot of information on him, but I, you know, if you're not going to be a supportive partner, like, people are going to go and find support with their friends. So I could see that being the thing. Also, he's clearly super... That's a but. He's clearly super insecure if he's going to just assume that... Like, there's something going on between them. In, like, if that's immediately where your mind goes to, clearly there's some insecurities. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. She needs to fucking run. Yeah. Well, it's, again, especially after, like, how violent he was, that makes me very uncomfortable because just him walking in the door and seeing his face i was like something he's he's gonna get violent you know no way gabe has this photo too look at our parents mom's healthy dad's only kind of an asshole oh i can change clothes <gasps> what options do we have that's what we're wearing. We got this one. I might go with Grumpy Bear. Oh, if we had different pants, I would probably go for this one. But as it stands, we're going Grumpy Bear. I am Grumpy Bear. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Mac needs some serious self-reflection. Yes, he do. Also, I mean, like, again, we didn't see them for very long, but it, even just kind of Alex being around them, they did not give me vibes of, like, 
being together. They just seem like they were friends. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> See, now, I thought that implied that he hid crack in the wall. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't that. <laughs> Greetings from Mexico. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Gabe, got your letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way because holy smokes, the food is great. The drinks are even better. Never get tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention center. Sure, you told me to fuck off three times, but I'd never seen anyone listen so intently to every word I said. I knew right then that you'd outplay the hand you were dealt. Point is, you were the best kid I ever mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. Hope you can find her. Yes, we can play the arcade game. Board game? Oh, man. Gabe used to crush me. Jerk. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Hundred fifty years of community. Until the bomb goes off or the mine collapses. Something's something's gonna happen. Okay. How did he get this up here? Some people don't think men and women can be friends, especially those who think their SO would cheat on them if they had friends from the opposite sex because they're a shitty partner. Yeah, just because two people are the opposite gender does not mean that they want to sleep together. Doesn't mean that. Controls. Avoid the ghosts and the, the mine carts. The mine carts? Mine haunt? Foreshadowing? Oh, Ethan almost has the high score. Good job, buddy. Okay, we're gonna try this. Fair warning about this game, you cannot put an ass if you get high scores, so don't even bother trying. <laughs> Control's better than I thought it was going to. No! No! Damn ghosts. This looks kind of like Bagman? Bagman. Never heard of that. We have this now. I think I need to get everything before I can progress. Hey, Melium, double game for this day of Twitch, miss. Gameception. You ghost. What's it? Unfair. Oh, jumped over him. Suck it, ghost. All right. Does this repel the ghosts? Nope. Doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't! He died somehow. I'm out. Pro gamer. <laughs> okay, so I can avoid the minecart now. Great. I 
cannot jump up there. Oh. Um. Hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> F. Away, ghost. Now they can get me on the ladder. Unfair. Now we're here. You can't go up there. Okay. So I have to use the ladder, I think. I, think I can only slide down those. This is some bullshit! Go down the ladder! <laughs> It's like Donkey Kong and Pac-Man, but the overall look is Bagman, which that is kind of an obscure arcade game, but I remember it. Interesting. Can I not go upstairs? Guess not. All right, where's my bag? Oh god, Shoo Shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Shoo Shoo? We've seen things, haven't we, Shoo Shoo? This doesn't seem like efficient unpacking. Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. The tunnel to the monster stronghold of Demonheim collapsed. I'll have to find another way in. The uniform of the city guard, long dead from the looks of it. Blood? The trail... The trail ends seems to end here. Unless. Hollow. Aha. He must have crawled through here. The corpse of a cloud serpent. It must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps if I can reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. Your flying days are over, cloud serpent. But you may still be of use to me. That glow beyond the peak. That must be the stronghold's back gate. A collapsing tunnel? Could that be more foreshadowing? Could it? <laughs> LOL, think you're done with hard times at 21. <laughs> well, I think she means specifically like the foster care system, but... <laughs> I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Hey Alex, what's up? You still a helping hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. Hooked up with this asshole a couple times for a place to stay. Now he's harassing me. Also, I'm leaving Burnside. The supervisor's a racist and keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options. But you know me, I'll get creative anyway. Hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when you fucked her up? Lol, miss your dumbass. Um... I don't think that was, those were good times. At least she cared. 
more than I can say for most. Dear Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting, it was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse for you. Good luck out there. Sincerely, Miss August. I really wish those meds had worked. Alprazolam? I don't know what that is. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Oh, that's who was texting us. Happy birthday. Here's hoping you're having an absolutely fabulous day and that you don't have to deal with a single shitty thing from sunup to sundown. Real talk, though, wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we met. I felt safe and happy and even loved when you were around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend, for the way you beat Harley's ass, for letting me wear all your clothes, even when I don't ask. I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Looks like anti-anxiety or panic disorder. Oh, I assume she got that because of the, like, uh, empath. Powers. Crazy how much we've It's fairly changed. strong. They both look very unhappy in this photo. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Mac, anger. It all started with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door, like something was slipping under the frame. Something red, something raw. Then there's Mac and that familiar feeling of dread that always comes when I know I'm losing control and no matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is a running boil. Then the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone and it's going to happen and no one can make me stop. Red rage, relief. Mac's anger felt hot and dizzy and also a little bit afraid. Really, it was all about Riley. The thought of her with someone else, the thought of her with anyone else, it was under his skin burning. That feeling like hot cords grinding around behind your ribs, it's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over, when your ears stop ringing and your heart slows down from hummingbird to lazy jackhammer. Such a relief. Too bad it cost Gabe a punch in the mouth. How do you apologize for something like that? Seethe, breathe, cleave. So I wonder if like all of these, if this whole thing is be going to become one song, because there's like snippets from each one. And then she'll play it at the end, but we won't be able to hear it. Probably. Ugh. I'll finish this later. Or maybe we will, since it's meant for the game, who knows? No fucking way. Here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait to hear you shred. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. In her defense, so, how are you Mac feeling right now? Came at him first. 
in that situation. I honestly thought he was just going to keep, like, like he was going to actually do permanent damage. He seemed like he was going to keep going, so... This is a beautiful, beautiful song. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger debug. Bumble. What about now? It's time to rock with the bigger debug. Bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the bass. Bump to the bump to the bumble. Bump to the bump to the bump to the bass. This is what she's singing. Bump to the bump to the bump to the bass. Bump to the bump to the bump. Bump to the bump to the bump to the bass. Bump to the bump to the bump. Bump to the boot to the boot to the boot boot. Bump to the bass to the bass bass bass. Bump to the boot to the boot to the boot. Matches the tone of the scene perfectly. <laughs> Definitely does. That guy was kicking him while he's down. That is like legally okay to use deadly force. I wouldn't sweat punching his face in. I mean, it seemed like he was going to keep going. And again, potentially that could have been fatal if he had continued to do that. So... It wasn't like she just went off. I mean, she did kind of because she was channeling that guy's emotions. But still, in that situation, I'll, you know. Blaishos. What are your thoughts on the game so far? I'm liking it so far. Um, I didn't really care for Life is Strange 2. I did get far in it at all. But, um. I'm liking it better than that. Is she going to keep... This is just going to... I was going to try to skip this. It's fine. We can just sit here and pretend that there's some nice music. And he forced his way into their house, too. Yeah, exactly. Like, he came with an intent to harm. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not going to let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. That too, he came over with the intent to beat the shit out of him because he decided he was cheating. Right, and something like that, again, can escalate to, you know, a fatal altercation. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> this is still going on. Well, it hurts when Do you know how long we were up there? You made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. That wasn't just Dad? a fight. That was... That I'm taking was... Gabe to the station. Scary. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. That guy's Alex, beard doesn't look real. I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Max stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> Stupidity? This is a much bigger situation. Like, they're kind of trying to make it seem like, oh, well, you know, Mac, comic. he just comes and beats the hell out of you every yeah, now and then. I think really like, cool. Mm. I know literally nothing about kids, 
Everybody seems like one of the good just ones. boys I being boys. That. Yeah, exactly. Girl, that's my favorite person. Seems like I would be terrified. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed. Someone up there came anymore. into my house yeah, and started beating no the hell out of my brother. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Don't be like, oh, too. he's just being now, silly. Said you're skipping dinner. No star they are downplaying it. That is assault. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry, I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. Some light home invasion and assault. When I beat the shit out of grown men, I can yell, feel the power of the falling star. So I'm short staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh. Maybe not as long as that, but yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me and I'll handle anyone here at the bar, all right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. Well, Jed's already cooler than his son. Let's see how this goes. Check on Ducky and Diane. Check on Steph. Clear the table in the back. My dad was in the service. Well. Typhon's not a bad. Hello. That's the girl from the record store. That's the DLC Steph. girl. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Sure. Live action role play, right? Fantasy fighting in real life? Yep. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Yeah. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. DLC girl, was she not in the game before? Or was it they added the romance option? Oh, she's just, she has a side story. She has her own DLC for this game. Um, where you play as her, I believe, so. Yeah, that's why I've been calling her DLC girl. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or? That's right. Nice. stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. I Sorry, wanna hear the story. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. 
What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I were going to play. You wanna take his place? No. No thanks. <laughs> that shot looks a little too dazzling for me. Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. I should get back to work. Okay. I'm not sure that would make a good impression. I got written up for leaving my phone on. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker when I was on duty. Yeah, they're sticklers about that stuff. It's a security concern. I mean, sure. Starting but over from scratch like, like this? The CIA. Fucking whatever. terrifying is what it is. Tops off You're telling me. For a living. Look. I... My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. The answer is always Buck Bumble. I just say I'm literally working. Yeah, like, not the time. Here you, kid. I've been jumping through time. An official council meeting will be held on May 26th to decide one measure. This measure proposes selling property of no more than 20 acres to Typhon Mining for use in an open pit mine. Both the sale profit and subsequent property taxes will be added to the overall budget of Haven Springs to be divided and spent through standard procedure. Mm -hmm. Noah built the ark, but thing oh, is that really Ryan? Are the way they are. Doesn't make me like him anymore. Sure. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. <laughs> Hooray. Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. It's getting better for sure. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Ryan's got better supplies. Our brother might die. I should check on that table. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan! Here at last to relieve our suspense. He has the same Play-Doh beard. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, Santa, now also. retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that- uh, That we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. He seriously looks like Tim Allen in the You're Santa Claus. You're from Portland, Cross. right? I moved here from DC six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? It's great. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> I can't unsee that like now, home. too. Thanks. I oh, you're know, welcome. I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is so a geologist, a recently working as a process manager for Typhon oh, shit. Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can't trust her. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah. We're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, He's, I'll go put that on. Like, I can't Thanks. not see that. My dad was in the service. New dialogue unlocked with who? Oh, he mad. Why are you mad? Why are you mad, Damn Jed? Boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with dad. He's come a long way. Behind that mountain man beard, Jed's so obviously a sweet guy. Cooler that than his son. Leak pie. Huh? I need to try that. No, thank you. you still want to she is more adventurous than I am. You can't. This one's from yesterday. Uh, is that Gabe's couch? Is that just a hole? Why is there a bullet hole? Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. 
Here, Jack Henry shot at William Porter over four aces and paid with his life. Oh, what a great commemorative plaque. Guess these were for mining. Mm hmm. Keep dry. Highly dangerous match for fast detonation. Hmm. Maybe you'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. We could go join the circus. That might be fun. Is there anything this woman can't do? Oh, it's about Charlotte. She seems like a, a good artist. Restaurant Unusually review. personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. Okay, so is this out of five or out of ten? <laughs> because... Don't dine and dash. Typhon Mining is just a villain name, too. It really is. Ugh. Shit. Now Mac's scared. He should be. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Can you imagine if your server took your order and just went, okay, I gotta explore some more? <laughs> Main Yeesh. character energy. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. I don't trust anything named Typhon after Immortals. A tag board used in Teller Mine around 1880. Each miner removed his check tag as he entered the mine and replaced it on the board when he had safely exited. Okay, look. I have played until dawn. <laughs> I know when you're giving me a lot of info about a mine that shit went down there and is going to go down there again. Okay. Haven seems pretty proud of its mining history. Jed asked me to clear that off. Mm, hello? Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? No. What do you want? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. <laughs> Mainly you. What's your point? Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I am not gonna protect your ass. To recap Get fucked. All the gory details, you know? No. Get out. I'm telling her everything. You're awful. Fuck you. You really are a piece of shit. Ha! Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. Yeah, well... That's not my problem. We've been together four years. I don't care. That's four years of her life probably wasted. So please. No! Listen. If my significant other were going around beating the hell out of my friends. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? I didn't even have to tell her. Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend. Are you really just gonna do this again? I swear, this is it. You better have a good explanation or we're done. It's, it's not my fault. No, you did I not. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you. This is Red Flag City. About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. You fucking liar! 
No. Okay. Um, not exactly yeah, sucker punched, but he definitely started it. He did not. We were just in oh the God. house vibing. Were you there too? You came in there? Yeah, I did. I beat the crap out of him. Of no. Call out his bullshit. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait, are you, are we okay? Are you are fucking we okay? serious? I'm so embarrassed by you oh right now. Oh my god, are we dude. Still together. What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. If she was so important to you, Alex maybe Chen? you shouldn't have done that. Uh, oh, am I in trouble with the cops on now? Your first day here, huh? Who are you? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. You look like Ryan, sort of. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning. Fine. What about him? Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. <laughs> what the hell is Gabe wrong and I just with like you? To prank each other. <laughs> That's not a prank. <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely I'm got stuff me. stuffed donuts in his car. Thanks for being a good sport. That's a prank. Can I buy you a drink? No. Um, maybe I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? What the hell? Anyway. I'm glad we called out Max bullshit. I can't believe he was like, he wanted me to lie for him. Are you kidding me? No. See, Harmon must be Charlotte. This is really cool. Oh, wow. Cool that her art is up and around. Amelia Rossum Goldstein. The site. She operated bed and breakfast for nine years, known for its beautiful rooftop garden. She died at the age of 32 of influenza. Though married shortly before her death, the identity of her husband remains a mystery. Interesting. Can I just, like, play pool on my shift? Dispensary Coupons for weed? Coupons. What a time to be alive. Okay. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Only two spots left in the bread baking competition. This year's theme is seeds and nuts. Typhon Mining sponsors raffle for Caribbean cruise. Mm-hmm. Sucking up. 19 lives? Jed is a real hero. Yay, Jed! Alright, Arkanoid. We can play it, Tim. G-A-B. That's gotta be Gabe, right? Maybe it's Gab. Ass. Lacious, you lied. Ass was the number one. Destroy all bricks. Collect power ups. Laser breaks. Okay. Left and right. X. Um. No, I want to play. <laughs> we can't do it. Oh, damn it. Like this protagonist a lot more than Sam or Chloe so far. Sam? Was Sam in Life is Strange 2? Or did you mean Max? Yeah, I like her uh, so far.
A long period of time has passed, dot dot dot, and the dimension controlling force, Doe, has again come back to life, occupying the huge spaceship Zorg. It has entered our universe from a different dimension. Mixtech Arkanoid type spaceship has launched the craft Voss 3 to make a preemptive attack on Zorg. You meant Max? I didn't mind Max that much. I mean, I don't. I don't I like Chloe. I have some issues with Chloe, but... Now we're gonna play. So far, I like Alex. No, I want the power up. Huh. Hell yeah. Oh, gosh. No, <laughs> oh, I don't have my power anymore. Jed is gonna be upset. But you know, this is important. You had to play this type of game with a cousin. I used to play a game that was called, I think, Windbrick. That was very similar to this. That I really liked. You don't remember their order? Well, maybe it's in the journal. This is fine. A pie with fries? Oh yeah, that is what she ordered. And he ordered like a cheeseburger or something. And his special drink.
Sorry, it took so long to get your order. I was playing in the arcade. <laughs> Could you imagine? Like, listen, I really like arcade games. up there. Oh, it's the sticky one. Yeah, the, the game I played was, like, definitely a clone of this. Called Windbrick, like, I, I don't know what version it was. It was on my dad's computer. The original was Breakout. Oh, before Arkanoid? What was that for? Was that just Arcade? Arcade and it was on NES. This is fine. do not give power-ups, which is a bummer. Really feels like a potential level five, not two. It does. Your suffering has ended. <laughs> All right, well, I'm a diligent employee. What would you do if I walked in? Oh, I can't walk in front of them. Darn. Hey, Jed. Hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane from 30 minutes ago. Go ahead. 
cheeseburger with mushrooms. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? Pie special with fries. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. It was like 45 minutes ago. It. They're probably pissed. Better chop chop. Yeah, Jed, you better oh, hurry up. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. We did see oh, that picture. Deputy Pike was with them and might have some idea. If you still trust him after that prank. Were you in on it, Jed? No, screw him. I'll just go look for myself. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. He's on the couch in the photo. Ha! Got it. There you go, Santa. Found us upstairs in Gabe's couch. Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. I was just waiting for him to just chug Miss right out of the bottle. Alex Chen. A most I really don't feel like I should be drinking on the job. To Alex. Cheers. But okay. Oh. <sighs> I've done what Jed asked me to do. I didn't need that. I should see if he needs anything else. My dad was in the service. Damn, was that drank out of wine? Yes, did it I was. I come on too strong? It was bold. Yes, you did. I'll give you that. I can't help it. It was very unprofessional. I'll give you that. I see a uniform. Hey, Alex. Bye. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. I don't like you. Emotions. Nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. No, I wanna. Can I? Good. Is that supposed to signify both of them? I was trying to read his emotions, but I guess I can't. What a class act. Thanks for driving me home, Pike. <laughs> You're the nicest cop I've ever met. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Great. Another wipeout. Pike is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason, Pike is my... S Holy shit, is it snowing? Yep. What? Sure is. I don't it's like that. For sure. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Wait, I guess you Actually, check. not yet.
Gray. Yeah. Are you done now? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Oh, look. Here they Speak are. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. I Thanks. could if I wanted to. We'll I could go play more Arkanoid. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Well, I guess I can't check my phone. How's your jaw? Okay, Same fine. <laughs> I thought you said you wanted to talk. You're not talking. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Oh, look, a gift. Could you imagine if he just pulled out sunflower? <laughs> what? I... Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. That? Is, well, you never know. Um, you never know what? just never know that do you, do you want to talk about that so yeah isn't that a problem <laughs> that's need a manager like... for your underground cage fighting I mean... career okay i'm really sorry how many bones have you broken that is what an alcoholic like, does that's why i'm like um dude are you okay i'm so sorry i didn't mean to hurt you don't apologize i'm fine now that we're talking about it Guess I never realized. I can kick your ass. That I can kick your ass. Yeah, I guess. That I'm strong. No, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know when I pulled you off the of Mac. And you hit me? I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. I have superpowers. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? I 
Okay. Again. Mac attacked him. So, I mean, did she go too far? Yes, but it was self-defense, or at least defense of another person. And that's kind of making it seem like she just, you know, I don't know. He's not going to believe me, but I'm going to tell him about the power. I can feel rage and channel it like There's the something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. I mean, we could prove it. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. He did. Did Riley tell you that? Dude, when? No. No one told me that. I just feel it. sure it's not just you know it's not just in my head Gabe I promise it's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever it's real can you tell what I'm feeling right now it doesn't work like that it's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. I mean, again, we could prove it with, like, the notes and stuff. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're, like, going inside their heart. I guess and putting I flowers there. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> You're fucking with me, right? I'm serious. Did you listen to anything I just said? This is terrible. Okay, okay. Maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's, that's really special. Special. Well, he knows it's our really secret. Your take on is he this? going to die? Totally. I mean, he it's believes whatever us. you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So. When were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? 
Well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Unfortunately, when I played, hey. the guitar would not let me because I know all, all I know are licensed songs. No, he was heading Unfortunately, home. the guitar tried to DMCA was, me. I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think... Maybe. Off Fuck, to the mines. What is Let's it? go, everyone. I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. Oh, shit. Are we going to find some Wendigos? <laughs> Wendigos. <laughs> Anytime I try to play music, Bug Bumble just plays in my head. <laughs> Who could have seen this coming? I know, right? So I wonder if, like, I hadn't told him if I would have told him there. Maybe? I don't know how much changes the story. Like, how many decisions change the story. Am here for the Wendigo. <laughs> Sounds like he was going to go either way. Ethan? The kid? Yeah, I Ethan. think the kid, but I mean, like, if he would have... Um, Gabe would be with us or not. Like, if we would have just decided to go ourselves on, pick up, or pick with up. Ryan. I don't know. Alex. This way. This game punchy? No, I'd probably play more of this. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. I'm enjoying it. It's interesting. Should I be... I don't know. Freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh, That's good. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? Hey. We're gonna find him. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks again for your help. Could have been a lot worse if you hadn't kept me in the loop. Of course. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. All right. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Nope. 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 Super nope. Are you ready for work? Chat, I have a quiz for you. Are you wearing protective headgear? Steel-toed work boots? Sturdy gloves? Reflective gear? A positive attitude? Are you? Do you have any of those, chat? Who's Something texting tells me? me? Those two weren't the best match. One of your neighbors has changed their relationship status. Riley is now single. Charlotte, proud of you, sweetie. <laughs> wow. Steph is here for this, too. Everyone knew. Official two-hour warning. Typhon mining will be detonating charges in two hours. If you're in a marked danger zone, you must begin clearing out now. Well, I mean, we did tell them to postpone, but are they going to postpone or are they going to blow us all up? Is this how our brother dies? Landed Probably. I a job on my first day. Maybe this fresh start is still salvageable. Excited to announce we have a new addition to the Black Lantern staff. I've been officially hired. I didn't fill out any paperwork. Haven. 
has an indie movie theater. Impressive. Oh, a theater. That's Charlotte Silver Dragon. Dispensary. She seems cool. That's not what I thought that place would be. Lost dog. My golden retriever has run away. Ryan seems like a sweet Aww. guy. Wait, what about Ryan? Oh, of course. He is Mr. Good Guy. Well, I hope you find your dog, because now I'm sad. Um, Ducky? Why does Ducky have my phone number? How did he get it? Dear Alex, it was very much my pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming home here in Haven. I look very much forward to our next meeting. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister. I would be weirded out personally if, uh, if an old man that I served once at my new job was suddenly texting me. I don't know. That would kind of weird me out a little bit. Will we, though? Gabe gives out your number left and right. Like, right? Is he giving out my number to all these people? This area is private property of Typhon Mining. Only authorized Typhon personnel are permitted. Front, front door. Cool. A murder barn. Yeah, a murder barn. I mean, yeah. Hey, my fat cherry cheeks! Ooh. Oh, that felt wrong. <laughs> you need friends, so I gave your number to everyone. Tim, thank you for the $40 tip. Right about now, it's time to rock with the biggity buck bumble. Also, when it goes. Also, no day off for you tomorrow. <laughs> Tim! <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> All right, Tim. Where do you want to put that? Where do you want to put your milk money? They were going to set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Uh, yeah, we saw this uh, elsewhere. I don't know. I like They're probably still going to go off, though, right? I mean, someone's going to die tonight. Wow. That's some opinionated graffiti. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. Yeah, maybe she doesn't. Deems gave us friends with them all, but still weird. Can we put it on Link's milk jug? <laughs> yeah, I can do that for you too. <laughs> Okay. Tim wants to be in Link's milk jug, if you know what I mean. I need to find out where Ethan went. Alex, listen, milk is very important. There you go, Tim. <laughs> Why not both? There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Tim. So we stream in tomorrow, 2 to 5. And I will have to figure out what we're streaming, because I don't know yet. It'll be a surprise even for me. Thank you, Tim. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. I wish we could take a joyride in that. Oh, we got emotions. Makeshift plaque. Wow. We Once raise our drinks safe, to Jed. I'll raise one too. Who, at this location on December 30th, 2008, pulled us out of hell. 
Dang, Jed. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm not. I'm glad he's here. But for real, please let there be one to go. <laughs> Alex warned me. I could have stopped this. I'm such a fucking fuck up. Gabe cares about Ethan so much. We have to find him. Someone's gonna explode. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, and Jed. Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. Take and a good look, Typhoon kid. closed up this, this site. Basically bought Jed naughty. the Black Lantern. Since I'm not going to be here tomorrow, I want to make sure the 30th huh. happens tonight. <laughs> Lacious! Thank you, Lacious, for the hundred dollar tip. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Uh, well, that's... <laughs> we just escaped the milk. So, we are streaming through um, the new year, officially, now. All our goals were hit. Lacious, where would you like to put that? Would you like to squeeze in Link's jar with... T <laughs> There's a little room in there. <laughs> where would you okay. like to put that? Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Yeah, I already know where the door is. Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Okay. Well, hang on a second. Alex. Okay, what? <laughs> I like Tim's idea, except what if my name is slithering down Link's throat? <laughs> oh my god, it says goal 7 out of 6, Lacious broke it. Yes, he did. Come on in, it's nice and cozy in here. Alright. Lacious is um, in the chocolate milk jug, in the regular milk jug, uh, in space and is now also in Link's throat which is certainly a sentence alright let's see what we can do with this um I think he'd be going like this Okay, I'm just gonna... It's... <laughs> okay. okay. The comic is key. It's a little hard to read. What is the goal on New Year's? Well, we're doing New Year's, no matter what. That's a freebie. I think the next goal is probably going to be Pokemon. Uh, so I don't think we did one for Legends. Okay, can you see it? Can you see it is the question. Probably not if you're on mobile. Can you see it right there? <laughs> I 
It's so small. I mean, a tiny, tiny slither. <laughs> there you go, Alacious. <laughs> Very small, but I see it. What kind of milk is Link drinking? It's not regular or chocolate. Oh, that's a good question. It's eggnog. I'd have to be that tiny if Link is going to drink me. The campfire is in Ethan's comic, right? Oh, no. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, this is taking a turn. <laughs> Looks like Link got his throat slit. <laughs> Listen, I did the best I could. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. I think I'm looking for something closer to that big building. I got you. I got you. It's okay. You're okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Helldiver. Uh, is that everybody? I need a head count. Attached heads? Or decapitated heads? Instinct curse. See you later, Punchy. And just like that, we've entered curse territory. Just a normal night here. Yeah, that's how we do. Alex warned me. I could have stopped this. I'm such a fucking fuck up. Gabe's on the gate. I should see if I can make sense of the comic. I think Thanor went a different way. Yeah, I think he went through that. Through the thing over there. We already found that. The real monster here is underage drinking. No dice. I need to find something like that dead guy Thanor finds. You don't realize until you're up close. But mining equipment is super murdery. Nothing like sure this is. in the comic. Thank God. Part of me kind of wishes that guy was here tonight just to see what we've done with all the milk. <laughs> you want to see your legacy, bro? Hey, bro. Want to get wasted at the old mine? Oh, cool. A corpse. My instincts say no. But I feel like I'm close. It's right there. Zombie. Ethan put you in his comic, didn't he? So if the zombie is here, then... If Ethan really followed the path in his comic, finding him just became a lot more doable. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. I'm not. Wait, so... Did Ethan... Oh, man. I think there's like a side door back there. I don't know. You can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. figured that out from a comic book no I actually saw it before that I'm gonna try to get the lights on you try to figure out where Ethan went Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? He's small. I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. I hope so. 
graffiti. Not what we're looking for. Hmm. I mean, it, it seems like a slim chance, but... What? It's a long shot, but there's a couple disconnected wires in the box. Uh, a red one and a blue one. I am not making that choice for you. Have you seen any action movie? Hope you don't die. Yeah, that did exactly nothing. He just gets electrocuted. See? Glad I abstained. Kind of want to push all the buttons. Also, push them. Kind of scared to push, push any the, of buttons. the buttons. For a second, I thought that's a dead Ugh. cow. I was like, how? Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Oh, well, that's not good. Put some flowers. Mattress. Ugh. Worse than sleeping on the ground. Nope. Thanar doesn't battle any bed bugs. He might. Wait, during conversations use R1 to swap between choices and objects. So much stuff just left behind hey pants <laughs> you missed a bit this thing has seen better days free hugs yeah, it was worth a shot I guess Ethan must have passed through some other way let me see what I can figure out I'm not confident this is going to work. Ow! If Ethan didn't get out through the door, how did he Probably get out? the stairs? That we saw back here? He got shocked, he did. Well, you shouldn't be fucking around with those wires. Probably went up there. Bree? Hi. Scary old building. Please don't collapse while we're inside you. Thanks. <laughs> Wasn't in the comic. Lunchbox. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Oh, yeah. These look safe. Ethan must have gone upstairs. Mm-hmm. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these... Oh. She stopped talking. We did, Umbreons. We did. So that's what you missed, Pants. Cursed content. And we finished all our goals. Okay, we got a door over here. Sign over here. Caution. When ascending to top level catwalk. We passed caution like an hour ago. We're all gonna die. Probably. Okay. I'll not stay me, out. I'm the protagonist. Hey. But not because you told wasn't in the comic. Wasn't in the comic. It wasn't in the comic. Not in the comic. That's how I'm going to start insulting people. You are not in the comic. The silo. We're getting close. It does, Kiwi. Reminds me of the snake thing in Ethan's comic. At least you know you'll come back as a ghost here like 100%. <laughs> if I were a ghost, I don't think I'd want to haunt this place.
personally. Twitch misses forever now. From here to the conveyor belt. Oof. I think I'll find another way through. Twitch misses through. Twenty. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor now. belt out to the silo. Worth a shot. Heads up. You don't get to choose where you haunt. That's why ghosts are always so angsty. I mean, I would be irritated. You figured out the door. Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? The wonders never cease. He did he walk across that? Yikes. Ryan's getting snarky. Well, he did electrocute himself, so. We just come back and his hair is standing up. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. I don't think it is. Where to next, Alex? Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. Found it. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. Are we gonna get blown up? What if this Twitch miss overlaps with next Twitch miss? We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 He's scared. Ethan! Alex! Purple. I'm scared! Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy. Wait. Hold on. You would fall and die, probably. Ethan? You okay? Don't. Don't well, worry, we're Ryan's gonna get gonna you die. out of here. Just hang on. This is, this is not smart. Don't. Don't, 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 don't. His fear is so strong. If I get near it. It's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. I feel like we should call someone to help us and not do this what ourselves. Alex, uh, are you sure? I wouldn't trust that. You kidding me? <laughs> Push it. <laughs> I'm free. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? 
Awesome. Show me. Maybe you should just do it. If you know how to do it, maybe you should just do it. You okay? I mean, she definitely weighs less, but not that much less. It's too risky. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's Ethan okay met the not... one to go. No, I'm good. That's why he's no, upset. I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. Oh good, we'll both die. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? I don't trust this so at all. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Relations. <laughs> Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Yeah, it's not. Piece of cake. Just tell him to stop being a coward. <laughs> that should work. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> okay. I hate... I would not be doing this. Sorry, kid. You're on your own. Like, no fucking way. <laughs> Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. You just need to lure him in with candy in a white van. Like, I found your comic. You got this, Alex. I hate this. Go back! You will get hurt! I'm not gonna get hurt, and neither are you. You're wrong. Can you not talk to me right now? I'm concentrating! <laughs> Little shit went across once, he can come back. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Ethan, I'm here to help, okay? No! Get away! What's his deal? Mm, shit. It's too much. I have to get him to chill out. <sighs> Ethan, I need you to calm down. Can you breathe for me? I should never have come out here! I was so stupid. Okay, hey, hey, focus. Yeah, I mean, Talk to me. <laughs> least you're self aware. You want to tell me how you got out here? I was trying to cross to the other side. Log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Yeah, he's not in any immediate Let's talk about danger. What Somebody next. needs to go back and get help. Gabe's got us. We're not gonna fall. He's got the other end of the rope. No, I can't move if I move. You're not gonna fall, buddy. If I move, it the Wendigo will get me. He's not making any sense. I need him to calm down. Maybe we he's a werewolf. We can't stay here, Ethan. Are you a we werewolf? To, it'll see me. If I move, it'll see me. What's Is gonna there see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand there must be a what he's go. afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. This doesn't seem like a good idea while we're standing oh, on this log. Fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this. Maybe you should explain then, kid. Yeah, maybe. That's going to help him calm down. Oh my god. What's happening? It's like I'm seeing the world through his eyes. Okay. I thought I could hurt the monster, but it's on to me. Not just feeling what Ethan feels. 
I'm seeing the world Can I possess like him and make him come across? That would be handy. I brought all this stuff. None of it will save me. It's a big one to go. I'm wouldn't be afraid, but he's just a story. This is real. Extreme direct control of E. Okay. He's not afraid of the fall. How in the hell would you not be afraid of the He's fall? Afraid of the fall. Oh, shit. Can't let it see me. Can't let it see me. It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. I don't know if that would help. Ethan, we're safe. You know why? It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like Knife Warden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are Where true. Where the fuck is this kid out, Panther? Like <laughs> so he wanted the money. You're gonna obviously hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Dude, your hand would be so sweaty from all the anxiety. He would slip right off. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. Yeah, this seems just really stupid. I feel like we should get some professionals in here to help him get him across in a better way. Because if he does, if he freaks out or anything, he's going over. And that's it. Like. Oh god. Okay. One step at a time. Alex? Yeah, buddy? I'm still really scared. Yeah, he's not tethered. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But like, if, if he slips, then you will die. Can you go forward? Please? Do you think the log will break? No. Don't worry. I got all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Our emotions are connected. I need to keep him calm. I'm, I'm trying, okay? Everything I do backfires in my face. Come on. Go. Go. It's so slow. Come on. Look at Ryan over there like, come on, buddy. Says his arm out like, I'm not doing anything to help, but I'm standing here. I mean, he did tie the rope. I guess that was helpful. Good job, Ryan. Come on, go. Yeet the kid. We get across and then the fucking bomb goes. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, they let go. Like, this was. This was terrible. They're good. Yeah, they're good, man. Don't worry about it. They're totally fine. The log's breaking and this kid is not tethered to the rope. It's fine. Don't want to have to walk across a shaky log of a ravine to save this dipshit. That's I can't it. believe this kid did that on his own. On. Like, even as a kid doing things that you. were a little unsafe, I would have never done that. You know? You're just gonna pass out? I would probably pass out, to be fair. This is how I die. <laughs>
That was stupid. <laughs> oh boy, the bomb's gonna go off. Who could have seen that coming? Oh right, me. Less than a minute ago. <laughs> oh great. Oh, look! We're both gonna die! Who could have called that? No! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, not a good guy now. Oh, she mad. She mad. He's, he's fine, probably. Well, <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. Alex told Gabe about Ethan's plans. Alex kept Ethan's plans to herself. Okay, so we did what most everybody did. Alex told Riley the truth about the fight. 70% should be higher, but I don't know. Maybe people are going back and changing their decision. Alex told Gabe about her power. Oh, that's surprising that most people did that, too. Alex hugged Gabe on the bridge. Only 3% of people didn't. But 30%... Okay. Alex encouraged Riley to be honest in her interview. Alex put cool sunglasses on the gnome. Alex enjoyed a song in the record store. Alex told Ryan that Gabe was a badass. Alex rocked out with Gabe on the broom guitar. Alex found evidence of Gabe's search for her. Alex expressed optimism about Haven to Charlotte. Well, that's the only one that I, you know, did differently from most people. Alex went along with Gabe's story. And that one. Alex told Gabe she loves the guitar. Jed was impressed with Alex's performance as a server at 1%. Jed was not impressed. <laughs> Uh, or Jed figured out Alex had never been a server before. Alex didn't play the jukebox game with Steph. Okay, so, like, I'm in the 19%. Riley broke up with Mac after the fight. Riley and Mac are still together. 30%! 30%! 30%! Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Ducky was reunited with his favorite whiskey. Only 8% of people did not reunite him with the whiskey. But 30%? 30% <laughs> hmm. is too damn high. I'm hoping it's a completionist thing. But still... Goodness. Well, 30% were like, I mean, Mac made some good points. <laughs> or let's be an asshole run. 30% is Gerard making a video. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I don't want to start the next chapter and get into that. So we're just going to have to leave it ambiguous, I guess. Although, definitely called brother dying in that moment. So, there's that. Also, what a metaphor, being tethered to him. Is that going to come into play? Probably. So, that was uh, the first chapter. I don't know how many chapters there are, but that was the first chapter of Life is Strange True Colors. So... We'll have to um, continue another time.
See how it goes. The Life is Strange game, so most people call it brother dying. Can't be Life is Strange game without trauma. I mean, cliffhanger that wasn't surprising. Ha, cliffhanger. Ha, ha, ha. People do die in Life is Strange games. True. Good start. Rocky choices that shouldn't be. No, right? I think our I think our playthrough is going well so far. So far, anyway. So, not sure how that's going to go, because he's dead. Then we have Ethan, who probably is going to blame himself. Which, I mean, well... Um... And then Ryan was there. And Alex is probably going to be upset at Ryan for trying to cut the cable. So, and who knows how Charlotte's going to feel about all this. That's a lot. There's a lot that's going to happen. I mean, had he not cut the line, they both die. I'm not. I, I agree with you, Tim. I just like, I don't know. That's a. That would be tough to do. Like. I totally get why he did it, but I can still f imagine she's going to have conflicted feelings about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do you come back from that? It's hard to see that clearly when it's so close to you. When it's someone close to you. Yeah, exactly. Like, yes, that was probably the better thing to do. But I don't know. If it were me, I would still hold on to that hope that, like, maybe he could have been saved. I don't know. It's rough. It's rough. I predict Max still going to be a dick. <laughs> That's probably fair. Maybe, you know, we'll have to fight him again. I could see that happening, too, because he's mad because he and Riley aren't together anymore. So I could see him having some issues about that. So, well, cliffhanger. We'll have to return another time um, because Twitch Miss is continuing, even if we don't have the boxes up there yet. We've got days 17 and 18, and then we are just going to hang out New Year's 